A few moments later. Good morning, everybody. Oh, wow, that's how long it's been since I've vlogged. I'm actually literally croaky. <laughs> I am coming at you from the worst angle for myself today because this room that I get ready in is still filled with crap because have I finished my wardrobe clear up? No, no I have not. I feel like I will just be clearing out for life really at this point in my life. Anyway, it's been a while. I will explain my absence later on but that is not for now because we actually don't have that much time this morning i am taking my mum out for lunch today it's mother's day and i'm taking my mum to brighton beach house she loves it she always feels so snazzed when we go in there i may not be the most organized child <laughs> but i am the child with the beach house membership so i earn myself points back for that i say that i have been organized i'm like i'm putting myself down as per but she has flowers flower box flowers en route the best, the best, best, best flowers. I have a little gift for her. I have a card complete with the cheesiest poem known to man because she loves that stuff. And I've written the card already. I wrote the card yesterday, which is actually very much in advance compared to my usual <laughs> writing it literally seconds before I leave the house. So actually this year I have not done too badly. I mean, I, oh, 10, 10, make a wish. Make a wish guys, make a wish. I'm sure it counts still. 10, 10 on the 10th of March, that's got to count for extra w wishes, right? Mm. Great. I hope you all wished. It still counts. Does it? I'm, I'm, I'm saying it counts. Anyway, my skin's looking pretty good today. I feel like we've we've hit a turning point. It was it was not good for a little while, but it's looking better. I'm very happy about that. I did my red light mask this morning, which I think is helping. My forehead looks really good and there's normally quite a bit of texture at the moment on it. Like I should really be getting my Botox topped up in April, so next month. We have a little bit of movement, but actually I, I feel like it's, it's just a little bit, it's just a bit less textured here. It's looking a bit more plump, so loving that. I still have my code. My code is just like ongoing, if anyone is interested in the red light mask. Also, I'd like to thank everybody who cheered me on when I mentioned on Instagram that I can actually get the contacts out with long nails. I really appreciated the support on that. I'm just, if you're squeamish and don't like people touching their eye, look away now. Ooh. Also, does anyone else have this thing? I swear, and I feel like I'm crazy when I say this because other contacts wearers are like, oh really? But I swear, having contacts in makes my eyes look bigger. Does anyone else have this? Like, this is really bad for my eyes. It's making me go a bit funny because I've only got one in, but I swear this eye looks bigger. Am I going mad? Is that a thing? Would it magnify? I really feel like it does. I had photos taken the other day and I thought my eyes looked bigger. Is it in? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, all that concealer was definitely for nothing. Okay, we do not have that long to get ready, so I'm going to speed through the makeup, which has not changed in the two weeks that I have been gone from vlogging, so nothing to see here. You guys this is tray important one thing we need to remember to do today is go and get me a new mascara because <laughs> the situation is bad like i have been using brown mascara or worst case purple mascara and then using a coat of this over the top to give the color but still get the length of like a full working mascara so things are not great right now the swede lashes is sold out on Space and K, which I am very sad about, but I hope everyone that's trying it is enjoying it because it is the best. Remind me to go to Boots, okay? I don't know how you're meant to be doing that, but remind me. Actually, do you know what? I'm really missing a trick. This is how I should make sure I will remember. Hi, happy Mother's Day. Uh, side note, please, can you remind me to go to Boots after we go to lunch because I need things. Love you, bye. 
Job done. My mother has never forgotten to do anything a day in her life, so. Can anyone else tell me why all your eyelashes just fall out at once? Like, it's actually kind of concerning me. I've never seen it this bad. I look like when someone with blonde hair has very dark lash extensions and has like five left. That's what I look like. Okay, I've, I think I've managed to save this. Not me being over dramatic. Shocking. Charlotte Tilbury Icon Baby. This is my current favourite lip liner. And then I'm just going with a bit of Summer Friday's Pink Sugar Lip Balm. I'm keeping it light today because I am also going out for dinner as well as lunch. We have a full day for the mums today. Okay, not bad. Right, what are we wearing today? I got the skims top and shorts, by the way. How cute are these? Can you hear that? There are seagulls fighting on my roof. If you can hear something rolling around, <laughs> it's not ghosts. They're literally the girliest thing that I own, but I am so <laughs> obsessed with them. I just love the little like button collar detail. The sleeves are so nice and long. I got the play suit a month or so back, but the long sleeve is very necessary because it's still winter. I was tempted to get the leggings instead of the shorts but they're just so long on me and like the waist it the waistband doesn't sit right it's just it has a bit too much material around the crotch it's too long on the leg so i just went for the shorts as long as i've got the long sleeves i'm fine so this is the outfit that i've gone for i wanted to be comfy and really cozy because it's not very warm outside but i also wanted to look smart on first appearances when we sit down that will obviously not be the case i will be comfy and cozy so i've gone for my mango coat because it kind of gives that appearance of a smart outfit but underneath we've got my favorite gray cashmere jumper which is super old now sadly you can't get it anymore but the cos ones are kind of similar i then have a brown and gold belt from mango cos white jeans my platform uggs so yeah we're very we're very comfy and cozy underneath but the coat with its structured shoulders is kind of giving a little bit of like smart and then the bag is my chanel 22 just to tie in the gray jumper and it just adds to the slouchy oversized everything look that we've got going on oh and then i have these celine sunnies on they're quite large and they give more of a polished Feel, which I think contrasts like a very like casual outfit really nicely. Apologies for my broken speaking. My <laughs> my coffee has not kicked in today apparently. Anyway, let's go. Pop in the things. In there. there we go. You can hold the basket. Here you go. <laughs> Mum's assisting me. <laughs> We're doing a boots haul. <laughs> Bronzer and powder foundation. <laughs> that's that's all that goes on your face. Bless you. I've got my own brush. Let's get you a brush. Come on. My mum just told me that she puts on her powder foundation with her finger, so we need to sort this. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> this one could be good. I've used that one before. My favourites are the little ones that come in this whole set, which is kind of annoying. Oh, it's a face base set. Mm, I don't feel like you... I feel like that's a bit much for oh, you, need. like a light hand with your powder products so we want to go for something that's a little bit more like this but almost fluffier what about one of them? hmm it's hard to tell when you're just looking at a photo versus the brush mickey ones yeah you're not having mickey mouse no. so what do you think you don't you're not keen on the one with the brow thing well i wouldn't use it what's that thing for how are you feeling your eyebrows See, I don't. What would I fill them in with? Powder. Then mm. I look cross. <laughs> so, no to this one. You'd rather go with this one. What sort of powder would I use if I was using that? Brow powder? I've never seen one of those. <laughs> okay, no to, no, to, no to the eyebrow one. Well, maybe I should be. We could use that, or you said you don't like it when you get powder where you don't want powder, so I think this one. See I'm thinking that's probably a better size but my face is quite think? small. But that's quite big no? Well now, now you're talking about it with the bits that I want because I don't want to go overboard with it do I? Because I use this under my eye area. Okay and that's this area here is the yeah, bit so you can just with. Yeah. I think this is the best. Okay. Fit and back. Okay. We like this section don't we? I like this one. <laughs> One of the few things that doesn't make my mum's face flare up. 
I know, it's because people ransack it. Okay, I need seeker plast. One of these does red stuff, doesn't it? One of these does red stuff. Use your words. <laughs> you know that you know you have to have those zaps though. Nothing really. Okay, so that's why that stuff didn't work. Yeah, no. So we both need to go and have our veins zapped. Where is? Zika Blast. Guys, <laughs> this is a desperate situation. I'm all out of Zika Blast. Uh, oh no, they only have the hand cream. It's not looking good. And also no lip balm. So basically none of the stuff that I wanted. So I may just become a shriveled prune soon. R.I.P. to my face. Hair stuff. No, no Kerastas in here. One more stop. Why does every counter have nothing on it? I need a mascara. Where is the mascara? Oh no. What has happened? Where is everything? And we are back. I have had enough of the outside, you guys. The weather right now is... It's so depressing. I need to book some flights very, very soon. Dinner one of two of the day. My mum was like, I have no idea how you're planning on doing a second dinner today. This one is an all-you-can-eat buffet. An all-you-can-eat is a stunning all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a boots haul, a little mini boots haul. Brighton boots, honestly, someone from Quality Control needs to get down there because it gets worse every time I go in there. I had five things on my list. I came out with one of the things that I wanted, two substitutes and two things that I just couldn't get my hands on. So, let's start with the thing I wanted. I very rarely buy myself new fragrances, but this is one that I have been really wanting. Every time I smell it, I smell it on people and I'm like, that smells amazing. And I've had it before and I just really, it was quite a few years back, maybe like five years back when it launched. Was it five years ago, four years ago? I really didn't love it then, but my scent preferences are starting to change. Oh my God, this is so small. I went for the small bottle because I just don't go through fragrances quickly enough to warrant a huge bottle. Also, this is just very easy to travel with and I just thought it would be really cute. My scent preferences are starting to change, which is incredibly worrying to me because I have always been a ride or die, like sweet, sweet kind of girl and I'm starting to enjoy more floral fragrances and some fruity as well. I mean, I've always liked a bit of a fruity mixed with a vanilla, but this is very different to what I would normally go for. Mm. Oh my god, it's so nice. Like fruity, floral, completely different to what I would normally go for. A little bit of something vanilla -y thrown in there, but it's beautiful. This is a really good all-rounder for like a night out day scent. Like there's something very daytime about it, but at the same time I could easily wear this out for like a dinner. It actually might have a bit of like a black currantiness to it, which is probably the thing that I like. I actually don't know the notes of this, so I could be completely wrong, but... There is something black currenty about it. It's almost like a younger version of Armani C. Sorry, I'm just adjusting you. So yeah, this has been on my list for so long now, so I thought I'd go and pick that up. And then I also got a new mascara. I really wanted to try the YSL Lash Clash because I have it in brown and I really wanted to try it in black. Did they have it? No, they, they had no YSL mascaras. They had actually the YSL counter was barren, derelict, non-existent, extinct. That that was the vibe. So the Kylie makeup counter was a little bit fuller, not a lot. It had a single mascara on it. And I have heard good things about this mascara, so I thought I would give it a go. Must I wait for my beloved cloud, what's it called? Swede cloud lashes to come back. I like the packaging of this. Like I like a nice matte pink. I find this very pleasing. So I thought I'd give that a go. I also really wanted to try her lip balms. They didn't have them in stock at all. I don't know if they're like an online exclusive, but I saw this and I was like, oh, this is very much up my street. So this is the lip oil in watermelon. Oh my God. Oh, that smells good. Oh my God. Yeah, stunning. Oh. Oh. This feels really nice. This is like, it's giving the Dior lip oil, but maybe nicer. It feels more like wet and cold, which I really like. There's something about that that I, I think is really nice. Not like zero stickiness, zero. That's so nice. Damn, well done Miss Kylie. 
That's so nice. This might be my favorite lip oil that I've ever tried. Also the color like shade of it is really nice. Just like a barely there pink. Love, okay. An unexpected discovery that I am not mad about. Okay, great. I need to get ready for dinner. <laughs> I am not ready for round two. <laughs> I was out for longer than I expected. I did not expect under an hour's turnaround before another dinner. You know when it's raining and you just don't want to go back outside. <laughs> so outfit of the evening this has been a bit of a rush job because we actually had to be ready earlier than we originally anticipated but i've gone for my jane and tash black leather jacket with a black body on underneath just super simple a really old pair of blue jeans these are like meant to be a straight leg but i find them to be quite a baggy straight leg on me and then a pair of sambas my dual saddle bag and then my jewelry is Etsy earrings, Aurelia necklace. I'm obsessed with this necklace. It's the best everyday necklace, but also looks really good like when you're dressing up for a night out as well. The best all rounder necklace ever. And then my jewelry is just my usual. None of it is available anymore, sadly. I need to get I need to get some new rings. I feel like I'm really letting the team down with the rings. But anyway, this is my outfit of the evening. Let's go fill ourselves with Chinese food. I actually haven't been to this place in ages. I have been scared to go back because every time I go in there, I cannot stop myself. And they actually have this rule where they will charge you if you don't eat everything. So I come out and I genuinely look like I'm about to give birth. So it's gonna be a fun evening. Let's go. Round three. <laughs> And it's so cool because you think like, oh my god, it really works. It really does. Because wow. yeah, it works as a magnet, so it removes all like the oh, impurities no from the skin. Oh and you will see like you might try it again in one week time, and it it will not tingle as much. Oh. So that means. So that is it like skin... the more gunk is in your face? Yes, exactly. <laughs> This is the it's, girl that hasn't fa had a facial in like four years. Yeah, but it's so satisfying <laughs> to know and to feel that. It is. And I'll go outside and let you get ready. Do I get to see the gums? Yes. Oh, oh my god. So that's come out of my face. Yes. And on the bottom. That's so gross. Can you see it's quite cloudy? Yeah. <laughs> it's very satisfying. <laughs> All of that was in my face. You spent with my favorite part of the. I think it might be my favorite part too, but also so gross. I'm back from my facial. You guys look at my skin. I don't think my skin looked this good when I was born. I have no gunk on my nose. Like I always have blackheads on my nose. The texture of it is like, I am speechless. That was also the nicest experience, like the massaging. Like it, was, it wasn't it was just hydrofacial with the sucking machine and they put all the good, lovely things into your skin. It was that with an Omrobitska, Omrobitska facial. So they then used all of their facial techniques in between. So it was like hydrofacial, Omrobitska, hydrofacial, Omrobitska. And it was honestly unreal. And they did like a whole chest, shoulder, hand massage and i felt like today was actually a good test for whether i would do this in the run-up to my wedding because i had a few dilemmas about the wedding so i was feeling a bit stressed and when she was like massaging my shoulders i was just like oh this is exactly what i need i feel really relaxed super zen i'm obsessed so i feel like that would be such a nice experience to have in the run-up to my wedding so fingers crossed my skin carries on just like looking this good because sometimes my skin can just be like, nah, I did not enjoy that. But hopefully it stays amazing because I would love to go back for many, many of those treatments. That was unreal. My skin has literally never looked this good. In addition to the Omravitska stuff, they used red light and blue light therapy on my skin as well. So it's just looking so juicy. It was so good. I have an eyelash, I need to, sorry. Don't mind me, I can see it in the corner of my eye when I'm talking to you and it's driving me wild. So that is my thoughts on the facial so far. 
the glow the glow is insane i'm very happy with it so i will keep you updated in case any of you were thinking about trying hydrofacial i have always wanted to go and i've never really been brave enough to try it and i was just like Do you know what now in the run-up to my wedding now is this is my moment so i thought i'd start trying it quite far in advance just to make sure that the skin is happy and if it is then i can go back for more so i will keep you updated but that is my update of the day i'm going to go make some mexican food and i will speak to you guys later please ignore the sweet sweet sounds of my dishwasher gotta get those dishes washed you know i am having my daily gummy moment because my hair struggling a little bit at the moment and i really want to keep it nice for my wedding i feel like we've done so well with it but it is starting to get a little bit dry i think i need to switch my blow dry method like i need to go back to a regular hair dryer because i don't think the attachment on the dyson air wrap that i've been using for blow drying i just use the big brush and it's got like thick plastic bristles i don't think my hair likes it it's quite it's fine on the underneath like the underneath is very strong but on the drier top bits i feel like it's just snapping you know when you like look at your hair and you're like is that a layer or is that is that broken and i can't really tell because we stupidly did put some layers through my hair it's why i like keeping a blunt cut because you can see immediately if there is any damage to your hair it's really easy to spot whereas now it's harder especially now it's so long and i'm like is that new breakage is it old but it's grown out not sure so basically i need my hair to grow at an extreme rate to compensate for a little bit of breakage not that it really matters with the wedding to be honest because i think i'm gonna have an updo but you know when you just want your options and i just want it to look nice so i swear by hair gummies and i have throughout the entire like growing out my bob process i swear it's the only reason i have any hair left in my head at this rate what are you doing come here say good morning oh sorry guys <laughs> she is the picture of health again now after having randomly started throwing up blood a random fluke a very scary random fluke you are you gonna sit she's she's trying no i can't sit like this though because it's not it's not my best angle so yeah at the moment i'm taking the my vitamins hair skin and nails gummies and i also take these are giant ones you just take one of these you take two of the hair and nails this i love it basically is like a harry bow sweet i'm obsessed with that to be honest they both are they're both vegan as well and i love that they actually like are nice to chew and they're vegan because as you will know i was using the sorry my nose is really itchy i was using the hair burst and i would and lots of you alerted me to the fact that i wasn't taking the vegan hair burst and i was like mm, don't really care but in the end once i finished all of those because i got sent like four jars tubs whatever you want four containers worth of those i switched over to the vegan hair burst and they are just so eh. like they're fine they're fine but then i got sent these and i started trying these and i was like these are a hundred times better so i switched over to my vitamins a while ago they do so many different types of vitamins as well like ryan has sea moss ash one ash Ashwanda? I don't even know what that does. Ryan has some weird stuff, whereas I am your classic, basic human being with my apple cider vinegar gummies and my hair and nails gummies. Anyway, that's what I'm up to this morning. That is how I'm keeping, I keep getting loads of questions on how I grew my hair. Everyone's like, it's looking really thick. I'm like, is it? Cutting your hair into a bob and then taking hair gummies for four years, that'll do it. If you want to pick any of these up, by the way, I actually have a code at the moment. It is Susie? I'll put it on screen. I can't remember. Full disclaimer, I love them so much that I am working with them on, what is it called? Instagram stories. Oh my God, my brain today. I have had the most awful migraine this morning. <laughs> Do bear with me. I am not quite there with the words. Anyway, I should probably go get dressed and get on with the day. You guys, I'm so annoyed. <sighs> we worked so hard yesterday to get the podcast ready for this morning. And at the last hurdle, I forgot to press save and schedule. I could cry. So there was not a podcast this morning and this is, I haven't missed one 
in and we've been down to the wire like every single week we have been down to the wire we've not missed a 7 a.m upload yet and honestly i don't know what is wrong with me at the moment i cannot keep my brain on any one thought for longer than like three seconds i feel so frustrated and this also brings me on to the fact that i obviously missed two weeks of uploads two weeks and i i have to apologize i just feel so constantly frustrated with myself at the moment i feel like i can't do anything well i just feel like i am doing so many things i'm doing nothing well that's like yeah that's it i feel I, i'm doing nothing well and i know this is why i stopped doing the podcast last season and we're literally at the same almost i think one off the same number of episodes as last season and it this is when it started to get hard last time was like episode 10 and i feel so frustrated because i genuinely am enjoying it so much i feel as though i've got more episodes in me i mean i've got so many notes for so many more episodes like fully fledged thoughts not even just like random calf concept ideas for episodes like fully fledged episodes that i feel so ready to do but i am just struggling so much right now to do two videos a week a podcast meetings wedding planning be also then you factor in like your general things like mother's day that you need to be prepped for and organized for and make sure the flowers and the bookings and the these are all not big things these are all not problems i am the problem i am struggling so much to keep up with everything on top of then having a tidy home and then don't even i'm not even trying to factor in a social life anymore i actually can't <laughs> There's no room at the inn right now for a social life. Right now, I will take any advice on managing my life. No mean advice. I don't want to hear you don't have problems. This is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm trying to be better. So level with me here. How can I do everything? Please, someone help me. I feel really sad, but I think it is potentially going to have to be the podcast that goes here. But I don't, I don't want to stop it, but I can't do this anymore like i can't keep we are working down to the wire it's not fair on my team like i i can't do this anymore i just feel like i'm not doing anything well like i don't like not being on my best form for you guys when i'm vlogging i don't like i don't like do, doing things like this like i don't like having chats like this with you where i'm sad and frustrated because i'm not delivering my best for you like we i've taken two weeks off that i should be back and ready to get to it and i'm not i am not i actually <laughs> i'm really not okay <laughs> i feel like i'm about to cry 24 7 i can't i i genuinely am at a point where something needs to go and i would love to know from you are you going to be heartbroken if the podcast goes because really i just i just don't feel like it's feasible to be doing everything in halves like youtube is my happy place and i like to I don't want to feel anxious about filming and right now i just feel like i have this like mental block because my brain is also like it's split now into so many different parts i'm trying to think of episodes and what do i need to do for the podcast and what do i need to do for youtube and are we doing too much of this and too much of that and who has the podcast and who has the vlogs and what about that meeting tomorrow and what about that meeting and then i have people constantly sending me things about my wedding and i i feel like i need more hours in the day and I'm really, really struggling. So if anyone has any advice, I would I would love to hear it because I don't really understand how I'm meant to be doing everything. Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, there's many things wrong with me. <laughs> I just feel chronically overwhelmed. I just wanna cry all the time. And I feel sad and then I feel crap because I'm not showing up well for anyone. And today I feel like I really let everyone down because everyone worked really hard to get this podcast ready for this morning and I, I feel useless. And now my headache is back. So yeah, if anyone could help me, I would love that. We're not going to have a great 2024 if I carry on like this. So yeah, I would love to know if anyone could help me. Any advice, I will take it. But please don't be mean. I will be blocking the words if you had a real job because I actually, I, do you think I am not telling myself this? <laughs> Which actually, I really enjoyed my real job. So leave, let's leave that out. <laughs> I didn't feel this overwhelmed when I had a 
real job but also I would have been made redundant with my real job several times over at this point so is it real because it wouldn't exist who knows sorry to put a downer on this vlog that is where I am at right now despite the fact that the weather is disgusting outside it might be time for me to take myself on a good old hot girl walk <laughs> get outside this is the thing the weather's been awful as well so the hot girl walks are not happening but it's basically traffic jams all the way to the gym at the moment so it's not time efficient for me to go so i haven't been going so i'm gonna go on a hot girl walk yeah let's try and get me out of this funk hot girl walk outfit of the day we've got my mango puffer jacket mimi hat i'm obsessed with this hat i bought it so long ago and everyone was like this is gonna be a trend hat that you will never wear again i'm obsessed with it i love it and then i'm wearing a full adenola black set underneath I don't know the grey socks. My trainers are muddy, so they are not coming in this room. Let's go. I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite windy. Sometimes I wonder, like this is the pro of having filmed your life every year. And I always find I tend to have a bit of a breakdown around this time of year. In March, like last year, you go back, I'm crying like every day. And then I wonder, and I couldn't help but wonder if actually maybe I have some kind of seasonal affective disorder that just kicks in. Ugh, oh, I'm eating my hair. Oh. That kicks in a little bit later than others. It does seem to be every March that I seem to really mentally struggle and I just feel really sad and I end up in this like bad mental spiral and I'm being really mean to myself, I'm being really hard on myself. And I wonder, do I need to do something about that? I don't know. Just thoughts. Anyway, hot girl walking. I'm back. I'm about to jump on a call, but I'm quickly about to bag up a load of stuff because all of these things, so we have Nadine Marabi dresses, self-portrait dresses, Zimmerman dresses, House of CB dresses. All of these dresses are being sent to by rotation. So if you have ever wanted to wear any of these dresses i will pop a load of photos of some of them on screen now these are going to be available on my buy rotation account very very soon which i'm really excited about and i will absolutely be adding to it as i go along as well and i also have just sent off a load of stuff to reliked which is like a platform where you can buy clothing from influencers so that's where i currently list all of my clothing versus on depop sorry i have got something stuck to my eyelash and it's really tickling me so yeah at the moment i use that instead of depop just because i have so much stuff that i don't have the time to manage it all myself although there will be some stuff coming up on my own depop soon i have a pile over there which i really need to sort out i just have no time but yeah stuff coming up on by rotation and there is already stuff on relight <laughs> vlog my dinner i do this a lot at the moment which is really annoying because i know you guys love seeing what i eat for dinner we had like stuffed peppers with like a barbecue mexican-y filling what was it mushrooms mango which i know some people are not gonna like the sound of but mango and like barbecue mexican in my brain is just like you know cheese on the top what else was there i feel like there was something else and i'm completely forgetting what it was but it was really good I completely forgot to vlog it though and then I've spent literally hours cleaning my house because we have a shoot here tomorrow so I and it's not like a me shoot like a company is coming in to shoot my house so I need to have a clean house so it's way past my bedtime and I have to be up really early so this is where I am going to leave this vlog but I will be back on form in the next one I promise I hope you have all enjoyed hanging out with me though and I'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye